Welcome back, guys, to Let's Play Final Fantasy X No Hope Challenge. Hello, Awaka. Holiday prices on all items in celebration of nice to see more Guado's wedding. Yeah, at least we get some sort of benefit from it. Ooh, high potions. That cost a grand. We've got 42. I think I'll be alright. Oh, yes. Much more like it. Oh, there you go, folks. Definitely worth it. Uh, oh, that's all our money gone. Cool. <laughs> um, take it to 50. And leave it at that. So I've done... Yes, you should do that. I've done quite a bit of grinding off screen. So you can see there, 24 hours in. 23 hours and so I've, I've played this game for about three hours and 21 minutes and some seconds uh i got quite a few goodies a lot of weapons and items no weapons sorry uh luna curtains and light curtains they were the thunder planes petrify grenades the basilisks at uh, just outside jose temple uh they're guaranteed steel which is awesome Poison Fangs, I actually went back to Killaka Island, and the bees there, the wasps, whatever they're called, uh, the rare steel is a Poison Fang, so it took me a while to get to 24. Uh, you can do it with the wasps in Macalania Woods, but the wasps in Macalania Woods are far more likely to kill you, so I went all the way back to <laughs> Killaka to uh, grind there for some items. Silence Grenades, uh, they were a guaranteed steal off of something. They're good because, as well as silencing, they also deal a guaranteed 750 damage. Silver Hourglass is the same as using Delay, I believe, uh, which pushes your... It's not the same as Slow. Delay just pushes your opponent back uh, in the turn order. Choked by Feathers, grants haste. Uh, and then you've got the elemental-based items. Uh, I don't recall if this deals damage. I know it... Uh, oh, it inflicts damage and sleep on all enemies. So, yes, it should uh, deal damage as well. Uh, but the Poison Fang, Silence and Sleeping, they deal about 750 each. Uh, the Poison Fang deals about 2,000 damage. So that is going to be a big damage dealer for us. Unfortunately, the Petrified Grenade I don't think deals any damage. It just petrifies because obviously that's an instant move. You do petrify things. Um, so I'm ultimately going to need to do some more grinding anyway because 10 Choke with Feathers is not going to be enough for a fight and haste only lasts, I think, three turns. The same as some uh, ailments and abilities. But... All in all, I've got some good setup for at least the next couple of fights. One of which is uh, just around the corner. Who's that a? E. Uo. Yes. Here we go. Wait. It is here, somewhere. So it turns out. What's here? Uh, Auron doubles. You should see. We moonlights as a lumberjack. Sir Oren. It won't take long. He's right, it really won't. I mean, even if they are made out of glass or crystal or whatever, you're going to get those shards everywhere and it's going to go up in your eyes. I know, I guess he's got glasses on, but... It's just going to go everywhere and, like, you breathe it in, tears up your lungs. It's not a fun time for anyone, really. Let's go have a look at our secret, shall we? Yoon is clearly excited. Uh, <clears throat> for no good reason, I'm just going to check to see what my uh, party setup is. Oren Riku Kamari. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that because I don't know what the start will be. But yes, I think that's good to go. Could put Lulu there, but if it does an attack that hits everyone, that might not go so well for me. This place. It's just water, isn't it? This is what spheres are made of. What water? It absorbs and preserves people's memories. I've been drinking people's memories for all these years. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen. Teams are also attracted to these places. It's very moth. Da -da 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 -da. Right, it's good. 
<laughs> I'm so tempted to seal. No, I am going to two 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 Desmond two two. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, East Rico. All right, what are you gonna do? He's gonna plonk on down, and he's gonna miss anyway. Perfection. Right. Uh. I only really want haste on her. Like I said, it runs out, so there's no point using on everyone. I don't want Auron in this fight. I'm just having him there just to be able to take damage when I need him to. Shell, on the other hand, will probably be very useful. Right, Kimari. This is going to tell us what element this enemy is. It is water. We need to hit it with lightning. A And this will change its element now. And now, once again, we have no idea what it is. Uh, Lunar Curtain on... Lulu. Now, I'm using doing Kamari last because Kamari actually has the... Uh, thing. Armor on, which... Except, I think it minuses damage for all except water. I may have to... If I heal now, he should... Should be fine. Yeah, he'll take some form of damage. Yep, nice. That did barely anything. Right. Now for the coup de gras. Poison fang. Fix damage and poison damage on an enemy. 2000 and now it's poisoned. Yeah, she's fine. And we can just keep doing that. Uh, so it's using ice. So we want to use fire. Bomb frag. We don't have any bomb cores, unfortunately. So you get two types of elemental item. Uh, the weak version, the more powerful version. The weak versions do about 600 damage. The more powerful do about uh, 1,000, maybe more. can't remember exactly. Uh, but it's using ice, so we want to use foyer. And now when it goes to use a move, uh, we don't know what it is now, unfortunately. Just uh, heal up Kamari. Might be worth protect. Mm. Nah, we'll be fine. Um, do we just risk it, or shall I just use another poison fang? They are hard to come by. These poison fangs. If I hit it, it will auto counter and then I'll use this move as well, which isn't something we want to have happen. So, problem is if I use the wrong, and I will pick the wrong element, it'll get healed. Let's try using a silver hourglass work. No, so it doesn't do. You can see that it, the icon moves ever so slightly on the turn order, but not really. See if we can silence it, shall we? That would be quite hilarious. These aren't hard to steal. No, okay, but we did 700 damage, which is fine. It's thunder based, and oh dear. And it just took 600 damage. So every time it has a normal turn, it'll uh, take quite the beating. Cool, it'll auto, it'll counter, and Kamara will be fine. It has about 1200 health, so that's probably a good time to, for everyone to heal up. Lulu and Riku have got low health, so don't need to worry so much about that. It used thunder, so we want to use water. And really, this is just uh, death by a thousand cuts, because we're just going to be letting it do its thing, and it'll hurt itself 600 damage every time it does. Do I use a high potion on Kimari? Means I don't have to worry about healing him up so often. Yeah, I will. Ah! Uh, don't want to use too many poison fangs because they are very useful. And these, I don't know where I can steal them from, except for the um, Iron Giants. But we need to keep Riku alive in case it does decide to use the physical attack. Alright buddy, tell me what you got. 
water. So we need to do it with lightning. Okay. So she can survive. Uh, let's go. Lightning. So we saw it's about 700 damage for a normal. About 1400, so double. Now, obviously it has one weakness. It will heal every other element you hit it with. Uh, which is a pain. But I'm unsure. Well, we know what it is now. How much damage do we deal with this normal attack? Yeah, not as much as a um, thingy. A lancet. Uh, yeah, so I'm unsure if the damage that the items deals actually gets increases increases gets increased by the weakness because if it doesn't that means provided it doesn't heal these items only get worse they don't ever get better uh i forget what it did it used lightning i think i don't oh then we hit it with, uh, i don't recall i think it's going hasn't used fire yet should have used ice I'm going to go for an Antarctic Wind. Actually, no, I'm just going to heal up the Lulu now that I think about it. There you go, Lulu. <laughs> Riku's got two turns after this hit. Oh, he can hit everyone. Hey. Yeah, that's, uh... Do the Healy Healy dance. Yeah, Riku's now lost her haste. Why has she? Actually, no, I don't think so. Does she not lose haste? I thought that was one of those things that, uh... It's used up over time. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, Kamari. Yeah, that'll be fun. Again, every time it hits us anyway, it's dealing 600 damage to itself. Oh, will you stop? I think it's doing this because it's past a certain threshold now. This will be fine. Tell us what you got. Really, it's not even worth using Lulu's elements. I might as well be using the items with Riku. But Riku having haste means she can heal everyone, which is very useful. Oh, well, we get three turns. Eh, it's probably going to press again. Yep. That's pressing the matter, doesn't he? Huh. Right. I don't know, maybe there's a certain order it uses. Okay, that did 913. That's quite a bit more. And we're done. Look at that. Very nice. That was easy. Easy peasy. Spherimorph squeezy. All right, just to assert our dominance, we're now going to drink him. We're going to drink his remains. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's so grim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Joy. Yellow Taj. Whoa, this is old. Don't know if you can play it back. Jacked. Left it here ten years ago. I, mean, I guess that's the best kind of electronics, isn't it? That are ones that are made from water. Shouldn't short out at all, should it? Yeah, Oren's well, theme. Enjoy. It was going to be a long trip. We'll be seeing a lot of neat things, right? So I thought I'd record it all in this. To show to my wife and kid, you know. This is no pleasure cruise. Hey, Braska. Ain't this supposed to be a grand occasion? Where are the cheering fans, the crying women? This is it. Too many goodbyes. People think twice about leaving. If you say so. 
Well, it better be a lot more colorful when we come back. A parade for Braska, vanquisher of sin. You can tell he's in the same boat as Tidus at this point. We should go. Day will break soon. Oren, could you stand closer to him? But he smells. In fact, no one takes a shower on this trip. Well, I guess. They wouldn't really show it, would they? <laughs> it's assumed when they say at these places they do. What's the matter? Afraid I might bite. Jacked. Braska, you should take one too. It'll make a great gift for little Yuna. I suppose. Lord Braska, we shouldn't be wasting our time like this. What's the hurry, man? Oh. Let me tell you what the hurry is. Oren. Mm -hmm. much, much before he was uh, the apathetic the guardian he is now. It wasn't on some pleasure cruise. I think there's more. Sitting there watching this, it means you are stuck in Spira like me. You might not know when you'll get back home, but you'd better not be crying. <laughs> Although I guess I'd understand, but you know what? There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You'll be fine. Remember, you're my son. And, well... Uh, never mind, I'm no good at these things. Anyways, I believe in you. Be good. Goodbye. He sounded almost serious, but it was too late. He was serious. Jacked had already accepted his fate. His fate? Jacked, he. He was always talking about going home to Xanarkand. That's why he took all those pictures, to show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us and came to understand Spira, and Braska's resolve. It happened gradually, but Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against sin. Hmm. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home, back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right, let's go, guys. Hmm. Maybe I had to start accepting my own fate. And once again unwittingly kind of following in his dad's footsteps even though he may not he may hate him but you can tell he's kind of coming to understand him a bit more oh goody uh yes i mean up to this point like you understand that ject is sin but how did ject become sin all these unsolved as of yet unsolved mysteries uh something that i want to point out i think that if this game were to get remake or any game for that matter this game's voice the being the first Final Fantasy game to get voice acting it's a lot easier to get the emotion and intention across when the characters interact but something that I think Final Fantasy 7 remake did excellently and Lost Odyssey also did really well is eyebrows <laughs> uh, but seriously, like the little nuances and facial movements that people make when they're talking to you really helps like <sighs> talking to someone else, you read their face as much as you hear what they say and 
seeing like someone furrow their brows when they say something or kind of raise them up or just kind of twitches. These tiny, tiny little movements that you otherwise wouldn't notice. And things that a older games like these can't really get across. But if this game were to be remade today, I think you could basically just use the voice acting from this game as is and just add in better facial animations. And again, it's not a problem with the game because, you know, it's a product of the time. But I think it would make a... It would do well from it. Wait. Yeah? Jack loved you. No. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes when you, as a bashful teenager, and you forget that Tidus is a teenager, I think. He's either a teenager or a young adult, his 20s, maybe. I'm pretty sure he's 18, though. A year older than Yuna. Uh, as a teenager, you get these things said to you, and sometimes, if you're not too familiar with them, it can almost feel like a shock when someone says this stuff to you. But you kind of give it time to sink in, and then you can kind of appreciate it. Like, yeah, thanks. Anyway, that's Smerimorph. <laughs> He's now a smear on the ground a morph. Uh, right, the next boss is actually very soon. It's imminent. Do I get to go in here first? I would like to... that up. You hiked your prices again yet, man? Taking up a place like this. Taking up... rich by tomorrow, all on account of this celebration thing. Hmm? What? You buying something from me? Yeah, support local businesses. Great! I knew I could count on you, lad. Hiked your prices? Oh no, okay, that's fine. So, <laughs> 27. Ah. I'm just being paranoid. Yeah, there's no need at the moment. I've got plenty of weapons to sell. Should I need to? Hey, Junk Hi Boat. There. Would you look at this? They always leave me behind. We have a choke by this time, so you've got no excuse. Oh, you want me to scratch you? Yeah. yeah. Good boy. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? I think my actual answer would be both. If you can, if you're that good at reading a chocobo's emotions and feelings, then doing that when chocobos are under duress and being stressed and used in war, then that would be an excellent ability to have to calm them down and kind of keep them more trained. But out of the two, if I had to be, you know, riding one to battle or breeding them and looking after them. Think so too. Hmm. You know, I might just give it a try. I always got the old career to fall back on if you want. Should I resign my commission? Would Captain Lucille let me? Elma would probably laugh at me. All the more reason to do it, man. Someone laughs at you. Oh. Oh. Come on. Not a party wipe, please. Or just a freeze. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Please. Yay, party wipe! Good thing I saved after that fight. I'll see you on the next episode. God damn. <laughs> I'll shush you.